In this video, I will talk about three ways to use adjustment layers in Premiere Pro 2023. Well, before that, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't forget to do it later. Let's try with you to create a beautiful transition using adjustment layers. To do this, choose two videos between which you want to make a transition. Then literally in two clicks, create adjustment layers itself. After that, find an effect called Offset and apply it to our adjustment layers. Set the keyframe at the moment you want the transition to start and at the moment it will end. Then right click on the keyframe, go to Temporal Interpolation and click on Ease Out. Do the same thing with the last frame, only click on Ease In. We did this to make the animation smoother. Now find Directional Blur in the Effects section and apply it to our favorite adjustment layers. Go to the middle of the transition and set blur length to 185 and set the keyframe. Also, set direction to 90 degrees. Move the slider to the beginning of our transition and set the keyframe, again changing the blur length to 0 and do the same at the end. To use this transition all the time, you can move the slider to the middle and press M to place a marker. Now let's do a movie effect. Just upload your video here, and on top of it adjustment layers and apply a crop effect to it to crop the top and bottom parts. To make this picture even more beautiful, just animate those black bars using keyframes and see a pretty nice result. I guess now you want to make radioactive smoke? I can help you with that. Pick the video you want and create adjustment layers, then find the VR fractal noise effect Select the Blending Mode screen. Next, click on the Pen tool and create a mask so that the smoke is only where you want it. To make the effect softer, spin the Mask Feather slider. Next, we find the Evolution section and put a keyframe at the very beginning and end, changing the parameters to 200 degrees. To make our smoke radioactive, open the Lumetri Color window and put the desired color. Next, we find the Transform effect and apply it to our adjustment layers. Change the parameters so that the smoke comes down a little lower or higher. We do this so that it becomes movable and more real in the eyes of the viewers. Don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.